Hello, hello truck drivers again. This is the video to how to change the uh, front brake chamber on a 2012 Cascadia. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so what do you need? It's uh, the tools. It's a uh, 15, 16 for this and a 7, 8 for the one connected to the um, airline maybe on yours is different size but on mine it's this and all you have to do is take this there is there is one pin here and then there is another one here this one it looks hard but it's not so you take these two pins out boom and then this one and then it's loose and then you just take this two nuts out and there is no air coming in because this only has uh, the service uh, line so that means that when you push the uh, brake pedal air comes inside and push the the chamber inside and that's how you apply the brakes so there is no uh, like a parking line okay so just the service line so like right here I disconnect this one here and right now I have it on park the brakes are apply on the whole thing and there is no air but if I push the brakes probably air probably not I'm pretty sure air is gonna come out from here so okay I already take the bolt from the bottom I'm gonna take this one out okay okay and this is the uh, the new brake chamber from the front so um, it's it's very simple like I said you take these two pins out and then the slack adjuster is gonna be moving then you take these two out and then this is a 15 16 I think and then you take that line out and this oh you have to take this line out also because the chamber just come just come with this okay it doesn't come with the fitting or the holes and it's about fifty six dollars okay yeah that's what it cost me and this is a um, tip okay if you break down if you have a freightliner cascadia and with the dd15 let me show you what happened the oil from the transmission was getting into the cooler so this is just you know to you so you can run to the shop don't don't keep it like this okay so what I did though you see there is two lines one line comes from the, um, the transmission and gets into here and then the other one the oil comes out here so what I did was I connect the two hoses so the oil comes in here and then goes back on that hose and and then I put a, a, a heater hose here back to here so if there is water coming out you just loop around and this is just so you can make it to the shop and I know some drivers are gonna say that the uh, transmission fluid is gonna get hot but um, eh, you can make it. I, I did it and I run for 500 miles to here to where I live. And but you need to flush the um, fl after you do that, you flush the um, coolant and then just put water, okay? But uh, clean water, you know, like drinking water, um, like two times so the oil um, runs out. You put once, you flush it, and then um, then do it again, and then you can run. And if the um, transmission fluid it's it's um, messed up with water, so change the transmission. I think it costs uh, if it's a regular about 150, and if it's a synthetic, it's about 200 dollars. 
and you know how to drain the um, the coolant. There is a uh, there is a plug. Where is it? Uh, that one there. It's a 19 millimeter or three quarter um, socket. You loose it, and the water comes out. And but you you open this so air comes in and the water gets out. And also from the bottom of the radiator, there is a plug. It's a one inch. Where is it? That's a one inch, one inch, that's a one inch socket. Okay, so that's just a tip in case you break, you break down on the road and you want to uh, keep running. Alright, bye bye. Super truckers.